It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Who voices that? Site inspection! Architect on site! Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Oh, look, it's the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it.
Ha! It's crack. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and then get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want a mop. Okay, well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Ah, uh, well... As long as he can't do it without us. Okay.
Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Let's go find him. I last saw him around the corner. Hawaiian snow. I'm ready to help you. If We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than... Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. It's this smoothie. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Well, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. Good to see you. Sometimes you need to be yelled at. Annapolis, is that you? You see him? Sure, right now. I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. Get it! Get it! I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on Fame or Shame? Yeah, yeah, the videos. Oh, uh, well, now you just got to find a way to make money out of it. No, 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 um. You open your mouth, I'm going to throw you my um, and my um. We found this prick? Open your mouth, why? Okay. Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill, past Crockahoo? Catch it now. My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's amazing you've turned out this good. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on to you! Let's go! Oh my god! You killed him! You killed him! You just killed him! I can't believe it! Sometimes I cry all weekend. I love it. I just have so much I can't believe you did that. What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him. This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess he really scared me, but I, I didn't want... Well, then pretend it never happened. Like, I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good. That's my girl. Now, please, try to make better choices. No creepy stalkers in this joint, honey. Just creepy brothers, killers, drug dealers. Taking them on journeys, and I'm not gonna let you tell me this flight is full. I'm not gonna do it, Cheryl. I'm not gonna let you. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. You know why? Cause I wanna fly today. It ain't gonna happen, Cheryl. Not in front of my public, and not in front of people.
people out there who I'm cleansing through their ass. It's not gonna happen. You really, you are a bully, Ray. Look, girl, this, this, this be strong, okay? I'm sorry, I went there, but sometimes I gotta go there to get there. You understand what I'm saying? I gotta go out there. Here's, my, here's how it works, Cheryl. Let me explain to you how it works in front of everybody, okay. in front of all my listeners. Okay. I gotta go through these airwaves, uh -huh. out to the people, touch the people, through their ears, uh -huh. into their ears, into their brain, yes. down their down their system, their nervous system, into their chest, to the, the help their heart beat, down to their bowels, right? To stir things up in their bowels. Lionel was a damn good producer. Who's on the line? Please tell me it's Lionel. Lionel, you calling for your job back? Lionel! Ray, I love the vibe, but it's mostly bullshit. What the hell? We are raising awareness around here. Awareness, you dumbass fool. That's all it takes, and pretty soon, shit has changed. Because people don't realize they're being aware because you're getting awareness, and you don't know you got awareness until... Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. Rockford Hills. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? This is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location.
Hey, Lester. We got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Then I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. Hey, how you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the Mets are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. You will have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. I'm a BBF. BBF? What the hell's a BBF, Cheryl? It's a big, beautiful female. What did I say, woman? Uh, uh, about how we're calorie hoarders? About how there are starving people everywhere? Well, Michael, dog, we still doing this thing? Yeah, afraid so. As soon as I'm done mopping. Are you and Hugh and Norm ready to go in the fire truck? Yeah, dog, we'll be ready by the time you out of there. Hey, I guess if this is a suicide mission, man, it don't matter how good the crew is, right? It's a conspiracy by the media. Shapes and sizes, and I think everybody should be accepted for who they are. Absolute. You knew? Just go through the turnstile. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. Thirty.
Ah, dirty. Hey, wait till I shake it off before you mop the floor. They don't work so hard. We're all leaving in a minute. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Hey, look, everybody cool, right? Because once we pick him up, it's all go, all right? How many people can say they took down the FIB LSHQ, am I right? Detonate the incendiaries, Frank. I'll get this turnout gear on. Hijack the emergency signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So don't worry. Pull it up there by the curb. All right, let's get in there.
All right, Lester says these elevators should still be fine. Was he on that industrial strip painkillers or that hallucinatory weed at the time? Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. to be 
way out. We gotta get these doors open. What's up? Hey, give me a hand. Briggs, come on. I see it street level. I fucking hope so. Towards this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else is gonna know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm gonna get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit. Shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. Haha, <laughs> you're right. So, uh, take us to our get out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? <laughs> Fucking idiot! I can probably tell you people. I didn't think we were gonna make it out of there. Uh, one of us didn't. We lost a dude, man. Oh, yeah, shit. You sure he's dead? There's no chance that... Man, yeah, he's dead. And probably could do by man. It should have been me. It, I, I should have been the one. It should have been me. Look, man, he was unlucky. And we all got lucky. By rights, none of us should have got out. That's all it is. Well, anyway, we made it out. So we got that to be thankful for. Norm's people will get his paycheck and the standard expenses. Man, you really gonna miss him, huh? Hey, I don't like losing any of my crew. But, uh, Norm was special. He liked you, man. Yeah, he looked up to me, maybe. Man, when looking up to you, you got that poor fool killed. A recycled bin full of champagne bottles. Fernando, how can you invest in the oil? Fernando is how you say, a pragmatic guy. Fernando worry about old Fernando. Fernando, he knows the true liberal and the guilt, and that is who I am, who I want to be, the rich hypocrite with the guilt complex like you, Sue. Listen, Fernando, I'm from a middle-class family that worked hard so that I could eventually marry an obscenely rich man, and then tell women out there to stand up, stop complaining, and make something of themselves. I believe in hard work. 
You had a very public divorce, Miss Murray. Yes, that was unfortunate. But I stood up for what I deserved in divorce court. Our legal system recognizes the contribution a spouse makes to the other's success. <laughs> Excuse me? Fernando not laughing. He, um, thinks you deserve more. Yes, we do deserve more. I took 80% of my ex-husband's wealth. Like many women, I said one thing before we got married, then stopped doing any of those things afterwards, and acted indignantly when my husband got upset. And that ability to hey, lie hey, and change hey, my hey, mind... Hey, this Lester crib, ain't it? ...perfect for elected office. Now I'm ready to sign a contract with our great... I'm gonna go home and, and process all of this. <laughs> I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! <laughs> Fucking A Ray, we did it! Ow! How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> Come here, give me oh. some of that! Hey. Ow, 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 ow! Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <coughs> Man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick uh, For serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. <laughs>